carbon C60 can absolutely neutralize um, free radicals and not change. It's a catalyst. It actually can absorb it and completely not change anything, not change its structure. It doesn't get used up. I'm David Wolf, and I'm here to tell you about what got me here. Well, this is David Wolf, uh, raw food enthusiast, nutrition expert. I've really had a passion for it for almost 25 years. EMFs. Here's my take on EMFs. The best EMF blocker of anything is carbon. Always has been, pretty much always will be. If you could uh, show me wrong, I'd hope I could be proven wrong on this. If you can show me something that can block EMFs better than the charcoals all the way into the activated charcoals all the way into the super charcoals, I'd love to hear about it. But for, I can show you that like carbon C60 can absolutely neutralize um, free radicals and not change. It's a catalyst. It actually can absorb it and completely not change anything, not change its structure. It doesn't get used up. So if you are exposed to ionizing radiation, the best protection you have in your body is carbon. And that's what my recommendation is because it makes sense from the color perspective because the darker the color is. So for example, if you have a clear antioxidant, like what's in green tea, like epico, um, what are they called? Epicatechins, epigallocatechins, those kinds of things. They're clear antioxidants, all the way to yellow antioxidants, which are, you know, again, very prevalent in something like green tea. What you're going to have there is that those antioxidants will donate electrons to neutralize free radicals. But as you get into the darker colors, what you find is kind of the opposite, which is they can absorb the electrons. They'll actually take them all in. They'll suck it all in, but they don't get used up in the process in the case of, this, of the black substances, like basically charcoal group. It can happen. They can get used up if it's a dark red. It can get used up if it's purple. But the black substances, they can keep absorbing more and more and more. And that's an interesting phenomenon. The method that that's happening, and when I read that research, which I was actually in last night reading that research, it indicates to me that we know very, very little about actually how charcoal works. Because again, our overall position is, oh, it's a sponge. It sponges up toxins. No, that's not how it works. Um, because it doesn't sponge up healthy nutrients. So it has to be an electrochemical difference that the charcoal itself is, is detecting in substances that are too, say, for example, positively charged or like a free radical that's got a super strong positive charge. The charcoal will neutralize that specifically and intelligently, leaving everything else alone. That's an electrochemical phenomenon. Now, the, the words or the phrase, you know, the science term for that is called van der Waals forces. Even van der Waals forces do not describe how charcoal works, but it gets us starting to look, you know, to get, because van der Waals forces means that it, it adsorbs to the surface of the charcoal. It doesn't get sponged in. It just glues it on like a magnet touching your refrigerator. However, van der Waals forces only act at close distance. We have evidence from activated charcoal that it will attract oxidants from your whole system to your blood, through your blood, into your intestinal villi to be neutralized by the charcoal in interstitial dialysis. So there's a messaging system going on or a phenomenon that the charcoal is drawing all the toxins from all over your body. So it can't be van der Waals forces because van der Waals forces only operate at close distances. Success is persistence. I will persist until I succeed. I will never consider defeat. I will remove from my vocabulary such words as quit, cannot, unable, impossible, hopeless, and retreat. For those are the words of fools. I will persist until I succeed.